Hey, what is going on YouTube? So it's been a few weeks since my last video about the design stuff and I really wanted to make another one last week uh, but I really couldn't because I went hiking last week. I went to a place called the Black Tusk. Um, if you're in Vancouver area or if you're somewhere in BC then you may have heard of it. It's amazing, it's very beautiful and it's literally like one of the places that, um, one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been. Um, so you can check that out, I actually put it on YouTube as well. Um, so if you like hiking stuff, check that out. And um, so in, today in this video, um, I'm going to be talking about the page layout. So how do you put um, your information together? How to, can you compose your page and how can you make your page more interesting? How can people, when people are reading your page, how can they go through it? What is the flow and all this good stuff? And we're going to be talking about it in this video. So let's check that out. Um, so before we talk about the page layout, um, I think for each of these uh, video, I'm going to have a design concept that you may you may want to know about before you're learning about um, the content of the video. So for page layout, there's a thing that you must learn, it's called visual balance. So what does visual balance mean? So I think as you can tell right now, visual balance is basically um, you're trying to balance something on the page, especially when you have more than one object. So if you have two objects right now, just like what you're looking at in the first slide, um, you see two circles in here. Um, one has, again, one, one is bigger, one is smaller. Um, so what do you feel about that right now when you're looking at that? You feel like something's going to drop, right? You feel like the smaller circle is going to drop um, because there may be gravity or something. So it's not really balanced, right? So how can you make this page balance? Um, one of the way that I can think about is you can put another circle at the bottom. So right now on, on the right side, you have two circles. They kind of add more weight to the right side as well. So visually, there are more weights on the right side and it kind of balance out um, to the left side. Um, so also like when you have another circle at the bottom, you kind of um, have something weights at the bottom. So you don't feel like the page is gonna, the, the top circle is gonna drop or anything. So that's what I call visual balance. And another example is right now you have three circle, two small, one big. So again, right, when you look at that, you feel like the page is kind of trying to like wobble somehow, right? How do you fix this? So again, by using what I just mentioned, you can just apply exactly the same thing. You can either just enlarge that two circle to be bigger, or you can add another circle up or down to make the page looks more balanced. So right now they're not gonna wobble when you have um, five circle, two on the sides like that. Um, make sense so now getting into the actual page layout stuff um, this kind of example I, I'm trying to like pick um, the most uh, commonly used um, um, structure page structure um, to be on my example so as you can see on this uh, in this slide right now you have an object area and you have the description test to go to the, um, to go for that object so right now you have like two two rows one is like object paragraph object paragraph so a lot of people if you don't know about the design stuff you may just like lay it out like what I did here right now but if you look um, closer enough to it right you can see that the object has a heavier visual weight than the uh, than the paragraph it's always is the case because like sometimes not sometimes just most of the time if not all the time, an image has a lot of elements in it and your content doesn't have a lot of things that go with it. So visually, an image is more heavier than the uh, than the content. So how can you balance it right now, right? So going to this next slide, you can see that I kind of inverted it. So you have the image to go on the left side and then the other image to go on the right side. So it's like inverted the whole thing, right? So right now the page looks more balanced when you're looking at that right now. Not that like one side is very happy, the other side is less happy. Right now both sides, they has the same um, kind of visual balance, visual weight. That's what I'm talking about, like page layout, how do you balance the copy, how do you balance the content. And now, next slides. And on a website, on a web page, um, I'm not talking about like too much like product design in here, but I'm more talking about like general web design. Um, so in general web design, there are usually a few sections on your website, at least like three sections. So one is the header hero section, one is the main content section, one is the footer sections. So 
what the hero section content is about like it's always trying to tell you some quick information about the product so either if you're selling a product or whatever you want to tell people usually you put the most important information on the header section or hero section and the main content is for you to describe explain what the hero section is talking about so you have the big idea in your hero you have the main content in your body in your middle sections and then you have like some kind of call to actions or sitemap or whatever to go to the footer um, so usually that is like how the page is going to lay out not exact not all the website but usually most of the websites um, so how do you actually play around with this structure now so I'm not going to talk about like too 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 deep into the psychological um, think about how people understand your website. I'm not talking about like the content strategy here I'm more talking about the page layout. So let's move on So when you're thinking about laying out a page, there are a few things that you would like to keep in mind um, One of the thing is the very first thing is like you always want to create contract between sections So just keep that in mind right now. I'm gonna explain what does it actually means so you always want to create contrast between section when you're laying the page out and you always want to avoid repetitive section as much as possible so if you see like two sections looks exactly the same you don't want to do that you want to kind of find a better layout find a, find a different um, structure to be on that sections to make the section not repetitive um, sometimes you can do it sometimes you cannot do it but whenever you can do it you should try to do it and the third point is don't put don't put all the information into one place try to space it out try to leave more room for the section to breathe you want you don't want to you don't want to cram too much information in one section and then the next section so you want people to take in something and then digest it understand it and moving on so if they're going to the website they're not looking to read a novel so don't push all your information in one section kind of space it out so now just keep this all three points in mind um, i'm gonna explain why is it now so example number one if you're moving on example number one you will see uh, a page layout like this so what is wrong about this what is what is not good about this this is very repetitive right as you can see in the middle section right now in the main your main content section it's too repetitive there's a lot of content with the same kind of uh, structure and that is what you don't want to do so moving on secondly so when you look at this page right now you have like one big section the other big section and then the other two big section so this is what I mentioned not to do and the second point I just I just talked about right you don't want people to you don't want to have repetitive section you always want to try to have um, 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 layout that people can breathe the content you don't want to put like every single thing into two big sections so there's no room to breathe right now if you put like two big things into one area and second thing is like I just talked about as well you always want to try to have a different kind of layout so when you have like two things stacked on top of each other they're both very big very eye-catching then people can really tell the difference so there's no visual contrast into these two sections here right now um, so moving on again so looking at the page like this right now right this is kind of like an exercise for you guys to think about um, you don't have to like follow exactly what I'm about to show you guys but think about like right now if you have 12 boxes if you have like 12 content that you you will have to put on the site how would you lay them out so how would you make a site how would you make a layout that is more visually interesting more more content for people to breathe and with like three points I just mentioned keep that in mind how can you organize the page right now with 12 boxes you have 12 contents that is given by the clients so how would you actually do this so if you look at the design I have in here right now um, I have the hero section and then I have the three column layout two column layout one column layout and you can tell that each of the section it has its own different columns so that's what I meant by not trying to make your um, layout too repetitive and each of the section has its own different set of columns and when you're working on your own design right don't just try to base off of like what I have in here when you're working on it you should think about what kind of content that you're trying to tell what kind of story that you're telling people and you should design your layout based on the content that you have but keep that in mind whenever you design just try to make your content make your section not too repetitive think about like how do you play around with the columns how do you make your page more interesting 
So here is an example of a website that I worked on about two years and a half ago. It's called Hockey Stick. So what Hockey Stick does is a platform to help you guys to invest better. Um, so as you, as you can see in the page right now, here's the header section. So in the header section, I have the graphic on the right side and then content on the left side. So you can see that like this section is pretty eye catching because I'm trying to like tell people the overall idea of Hockey Stick. And going down is the three column layout just like what I show in the um, in, in, in the earlier slides, I have the three column layout, so I'm not trying to go too crazy with this three column layout. This is kind of like a section that after you digest the information on the top, and then you scroll here, it's a section for you to breathe. And then going down is the, um, is the feature section. So here they give you more information about the product. So when you're going down, you can see how it works, right? So looking at this, you will understand better about like what hockey hockey stick actually does and how it can help you um, to better invest in your companies. And then going down here, oh by the way, this is the left right layout. So I have the content on the right side and then the graphic on the left side. So down below here, I have another section, but keep in mind that I'm kind of like breaking off the flow with with the graphic in here so i have like two big graphics to be in the middle instead of having them up and down put them side by side to be in the middle so it's still like it looks still pretty balanced but when you're going down here i have another section so right now i have the graphic on the right side not the left side the reason why i put it on the right side is because imagine if i put it on the left side right now and in this section as well, it's on the left side. So the right side is going to be kind of uh, empty or kind of less in visual weight. So when you're designing the page, this is just what I meant by like thinking about the page layout, uh, thinking about the page balance, visual balance. So we, if I'm putting this one on the um, on the on the left hand side, then the right hand side is going to be very light, and it seems like the content is going to drop on the right hand side. So when you're designing the web page. Think about the page layout, think about the visual balance for the whole page, not just for one section. So that's what I meant by the visual balance. And then going down is the footer section, and then that's how the page ends. So I think that's all I have to say about this video, guys. I really hope the information here kind of help you out um, because I spent a long time just trying to figure all this information out myself. Um, and 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 I've been like just looking at other people design and try to experiment it myself So this kind of video basically is just me packaging all this information I learned into the video and tell you guys what I have learned so far um, So I hope that it's going to be helpful for you guys and I hope that this kind of thing can help you decide better um, So if you like the content I'm doing right now in here, please follow my channel. Uh, please su subscribe to this channel um, to be honest, like I don't really care that much about subscribers. The fact that like people subscribe to this channel kind of prove that the thing that I'm talking about kind of valuable to people. Um, so, so if you can subscribe to this channel, I'll be very grateful. And if you like my work as well, go on Drupal and follow me on Drupal because I post a lot of my work in there so you can see more about the stuff I do. So follow me on Drupal as well. And I think for the next video, I'm going to be talking about um, colors and uh, how do you choose color what is the color palettes that you can choose what your voice and all the color stuff so it's going to be in the next video um so i think that's all for this one thank you for checking in guys i'll see you guys in the next video